Hey y'all, it's Alicia and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoblop. I have just finished work and I'm already changed into my crafting clothes because I'm excited to do some making today. Um, I apologize for not coming on to share this with you last night. You all know I'm having some bandwidth problems and I fell asleep. I fell asleep. I meant to get this up before the bandwidth problems kicked in and I just fell asleep. And when I woke up, I, it was in the middle of the like impossible to eat, to put, upload videos even like a six minute video at that point if it's like two minutes it's fine but if it's six no so I figured I would just do it today after work uh, so that's what I'm on here doing I'm excited to share it with you because you know I do have today a half an hour scheduled in to practice with my new sewing machine and you know it's not going well and I'm looking at this beautiful zigzag stitching that Natasha did all the way around this it's just beautiful and I was looking at it just a few minutes ago thinking oh I hope one day to be able to do this I mean Cruz was able to zigzag right away I can't even get a straight line yet folks so uh, and I, don't forget I don't have anyone to ask for help right now so I'm watching videos on YouTube and trying to follow them oh it's just, I think I'm a learner that is best with show and tell so either I'm a learner who does well reading things or if someone's with me showing me when it comes to mechanical things and I'm learning this on my own so uh, it's going not so great but I'm gonna keep at it I'm pretty tenacious Natasha Griffin girl however has created a beautiful such a beautiful pocket that I'm actually gonna put this in my visual diary today so I'm gonna continually use this as its own pocket so thank you so much Natasha for making this that alone is beautiful but look at this gorgeous ATC, folks. Look at this. So what I'm glad you can see is that how dimensional it is. And I don't know if you can tell, but you see this gorgeous. Let me see if I move the light a little. Okay, so you see this beautiful gold glittering. It looks like it's stickling all around. And you can see that the flowers are propped forward. But actually what Natasha did, and I loved it, and I don't, you know, I had to like pick it apart a little in Natasha just because I loved it and I wanted to learn how to do it is that Natasha layered the ephemera up on gold glitter paper and then put some sort of backing like chipboard backing but thin chipboard maybe um, backing from some of our purchases and then prop that up on foam dots but it gives it like a shadow of stickling but it's actually better so I love that technique that you used Maggie Holmes paper clearly and then we have the bird sticker and these white matte dots are amazing because they look like they're matte white until the light hits them at the right angle and then they look like twinkling diamonds really remarkable I've never seen anything like this before Natasha where they look matte but then if you look at them in the light they twinkle like like I've never seen something like that they're really remarkable could you tell us what they are because it's sort of confetti folks like gem like confetti and they really do look matte when you look at them directly but if I put it just slightly in the light then they look like twinkling stars or diamonds it's they're remarkable and then there's some string behind a little translucent butterfly and the back is just as pretty if I cover up the information you can see part of it um, but I'd like to know Natasha what paper this is in the back because folks the paper has a Maggie kind of feel and I'm thinking it might be the wrapping paper but it's so pretty and then Natasha built up I mean this is nice and thick but it felt differently than the way I do it. So I took a look at how Natasha did it and she does use a different system. It's like two or three layers of good quality cardstock and then one layer of backing, but it's got a nice, it's like not chipboard thick, but it's really substantial. Beautifully executed, another gorgeous ATC. And thank you so much for making this. This is, what, a, what an amazing swap with you. And I'm really grateful, I really am. I was thinking like, how, how much I've really enjoyed this die cuts with a swap uh, swap with the die cuts hashtag die cuts oh I don't even I don't even know anymore but I was also thinking about how Natasha's packaging made me want to better my own but I'm limited to envelopes so I was thinking do you all remember that amazing box Lizzie sent me for my birthday it was hand done it was like a t-shirt box and she made it dimensional but I looked at it again this morning see Lizzie I kept it because that was one of the items, if you guys remember, on my crafty aspiration list was to make one of those. So I've looked at it and today I'm going to try to make it like a flat mail version. Now I don't know if it'll work, but if it does work and I can alter the design in the prototype, then I'm going to use that for my die cut swap if it works out. So my day is looking like a little crafting and not so much cleaning really. 
to be honest. Yesterday, I did very well. My bathroom is spotless and bleached and the floors, I even hand washed the floors. The kitchen is back to its pristinely disinfected and cleaned stature. This room still needs quite a bit of work. Uh, but I suspect that I'll get there sometime over the next couple of days. Tomorrow, folks, I traditionally teach, you know that, until about 12, 1230. But it seems that my class is going to be canceled, not for Good Friday or Passover, which is odd, but for registration. And we only just found out. So it looks like I'm going to have to teach Sunday, which I'm not thrilled about. As you all know, Sundays are my favorite day, and it's the day where I don't do any work. So... I'm going to reverse Friday and Sunday, and tomorrow's going to be my no work day, but it's going to feel a bit weird. Um, so what I'm hoping to do is tomorrow I'll do the planning that I normally do. We were supposed to go for a walk today. We had this big plan because because of Passover and Easter, we were hoping, and we were right, it's much more quiet outside. So a lot of people left the city actually to go be with family. So what we were thinking is that we would go out today, but then it was really cold and rainy. So we've postponed it till tomorrow, or half the building postponed it till tomorrow. Half went anyway, and those of us with health issues postponed it. So I'm hoping to get out for a walk tomorrow for the first time in a long time. So keep your fingers crossed for me that that happens. Obviously, I'll wear two masks and gloves and take serious precautions to keep like 20 feet away from people. And if there are people, too many people, then I'll just come back home. But I'm hoping I can get out. Uh, that is my day. So today I'm just gonna craft and watch, I have to catch up on your videos because I did more resting yesterday than I anticipated. Uh, I think it's just been a long week. You know, work was work was very hefty this week. And so I'm looking forward to this weekend. I really am. So maybe it's not so bad that tomorrow is my day to think as opposed to my day to work. But for the rest of today, I'm gonna do some crafting. I'm gonna do a little tidying, but mostly I'm just gonna enjoy myself. I have your videos to catch up on. I've got comments to catch up on. I've got more to share with you. So I will see you all later today. I hope whatever you do, that it gives you tons of joy. Happy Thursday, y'all. Happy Thursday.